Hi, I'm Emerald, and today I am going to be talking about ceramics. So I am going back to ceramics classes, and I have 23 ideas I think you guys would like. I feel like these videos are super popular, especially on like the crochet side of YouTube, where you'll see like 45 crochet ideas, and they're just inspiration. And I want to do exactly that, but for ceramics. This list is in no particular order. These are just things that I like. Yeah, let's get started. The first thing is match holders. Sometimes it's just like a container where you can put matches in. Sometimes people actually cut out like the strike thing or like put some sandpaper so that you could actually match like light them on the thing. Um, one way or another, I think they're super cool and a nice little gift. Next is a coffee pour over. So these are pretty simple. It's pretty much just like a flat base with a hole and then a cone. So I think this especially would be a great gift for a guy in your life. Cause sometimes I know my boyfriend doesn't necessarily want a lot of the stuff that I make, but if I made him a little coffee pour over, I think he'd be pretty excited. I've also been loving these like shelves. So it's not just like a flat shelf. You build the entire thing and you keep some kind of hole or some kind of rig in the back where you can hang it up onto the wall. A lot of them are used kind of as like sconces, which I think is really cool. Another thing that I've been loving are just ceramic versions of normal things. I don't know why this like itches my brain so hard, but I love looking at these and I just want to fill my room with versions of this. I also really like when people make hyper specific storage. Here somebody, it looks like they measured out all their pens and pencils and made like the perfect desk organizer. I really want to make for my desk. I want to make like square versions of this so it all stacks up and I could just have a line on my desk all of my supplies. I see also people making like shower caddies or like sink caddies if you know how big your soap is and things like that. Not even a catch-all tray, like specifically a catch tray for you. I like those. Another thing I really like is ceramic hooks. A little bit impractical. You can't really put very heavy objects on it, but for light things like towels, I think it's awesome and you can do so much with it. And also in this vein, items that you need in your house, but the ceramic version. You could do the things that hold your curtains back <laughs> or like again towel hooks i found these really cool ones that are like circles with a little leather and also i feel like things that hold paper products so i found some really cool toilet paper holders and same with paper towel holders and i could also see some cute little like napkin baskets for on your table or in your kitchen anything like that another thing that i saw that i am definitely going to make are buttons if you are also a sewer or a crocheter or you just like to upcycle clothes, you can make your own buttons. So I have a crochet jacket that I love that I think I'm going to do this with and I am so excited. Another thing that I am going to make is a lamp. I have right here this lamp base and as long as it doesn't block this light bulb from being screwed in, I can make it whatever I want. I can make it go over. I could build it like a little house. I could do whatever I want. So that's on my list to do is make some kind of lamp. It was a two pack on Amazon for like $12. I also have the hanging version up there from Ikea and you can make like a hanging pendant light thing, but you just have to be careful because it could be really heavy. If you do something that's closer to like a net and not necessarily like a massive heavy cone, I feel like you'd be a lot better off. Be aware of how heavy it is. Another idea is these little earring holders. So you can get creative with what you do in the back, how big it is, you can make it look like a dish, or you can make it hanging. But just the concept of somewhere to put earrings, I think, is lovely. These two next ones kind of go hand in hand. I think frames, and it could be either a photo frame or a mirror frame. So I know, again, Ikea and like the dollar store sells little mirrors, and you can measure it out and then create a ceramic frame around it. And then when you get the two pieces, just super glue them together. And same with a photo frame. You could either take an existing frame, measure it out and create something that goes on top of it and just keep the glass or you can find your own piece of glass and make it like completely on your own next up are coasters i like things like this because i can spend a lot of time on a single one and it doesn't take up a lot of room like sometimes i'll make bowls and i just don't know where to store them but i can make like 200 coasters and have plenty of room next up is a wall hanging of some sorts i know this is basically like a painting project but i think it'd be cool to make something that is just simply for your wall. You can make some kind of sun, some kind of scene where you paint it on and you use underglaze, or you could just make something big and geometric if you want. Here's some masks too as well, as long 
long as you have on the back some way to hang it, you can hang it up. I want to do some like sculptures of birds that are flat on one side so I can hang them up on a gallery wall. And then this one's a little bit more abstract, but just your animal. I love sculpting animals. They always come out just looking a little silly and I think it's a really fun thing to do. And most of the time I feel like people don't know why they would want to sculpt an animal. But if you have a little two inch version of your cat, that's adorable. And it's going to be so fun to glaze and paint. And yeah, I think it's just a fun little thing to have in your house. I also really love these bud faces. They're for like those very abstract flower arrangements arrangements and you could either use them on their own or you can place them in like a bowl or something and I think it's just kind of a little fun a little different than an average up and down base. I also love the good old paint palette and if you are an avid painter this is a great time to design it exactly how you want. I like really 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 deep palettes so when I make mine it's gonna be like this tall. You could also create your own ceramic watercolor set if you know that you're using it at home all the time. I usually only do watercolors on the go so it doesn't really make sense but gouache on the other hand it pretty much only stays in my desk so if I make like a little gouache case then that would actually work and be super cool. So you can have like a row where you put your paints if they're in a tube and then the rest of it can just be a mixing area or you can make like individual little pans and they can just hang around. Another thing is a ashtray. I don't really smoke, but it's nice to just have them outside or have them on a side table. A lot of times they end up getting used as just like a key dish or change jar, but I still think that they're cute. And when you do use them, it feels quite nice to like use the ashtray that you made. And then this last one, it's a little old school. I made these when I was a child in ceramics classes, but I really like them and it's wind chimes. Literally all you have to do is make the same item like 12 times and then string them together when you're done. Um, I've made the fish ones before. I've made the ones that look like little shells. You can play around with like different clays and different thicknesses and different glazes and they all sound different. I really like the ones that like cascade where you use bigger circles and then smaller circles so you have like variety as they go. I think they're really fun and underrated. When you use them inside, I think that they're really beautiful, especially if you make like a very large or long one. And then my my final inspiration or idea are candles, but like you make it and then you put the candle in. So you can pretty much, I don't know if you're into making candles or not, but you can literally just make your like bowl and then pour candle into it or you can melt down a candle that you already have. I've made before like little cups where you can put like a Trader Joe's candle or something in there and light it. but. Something about this just seems really cool and it's super easy to get the wax out when you're done and then you have a little vessel. I think this is also a really, really, really good gift. But yeah, those are all my ideas. I think it comes out to like 22, 23. The biggest thing when I go in ceramics is not having inspiration. So I hope that this inspires more ceramics YouTubers out there to make more videos because I feel like a lot of the content is like people who have a style making their style as of course it is. It's like they own businesses and stuff, but I want to just make silly little projects and share the silly little projects that I am making. And if you have any things that you like to make, let me know. Ceramics is cool because some things are just fun. Like using the extruder is fun. I want some like extruder projects. I want some unique hand building projects. So yeah, tell me all of your ceramics ideas down below and any ones I missed. And if you like this, I'll keep making them. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.